Beneath the Philippines' lush, emerald landscapes where ancient trees whisper secrets and rivers carve their way through untouched wilderness, a secret has slept for centuries. Cradled by extinct volcanoes, their slopes blanketed in dense jungle, hiding mysteries beneath layers of earth and time. Today, August 3, 2025, that secret is out. The world's eyes turn to these islands as news breaks of a discovery that could reshape the nation's destiny. Scientists, after years of painstaking research and exploration, have uncovered a treasure more valuable than gold, hidden deep within the earth, waiting to be revealed. Rare earth elements, vital to the technology that powers our daily lives, have been found in abundance, their shimmering crystals holding the promise of a new era. This isn't just a geological find, it's a geopolitical earthquake. The balance of power in the global supply chain is shifting, and the Philippines is suddenly at its epicenter. The Philippines, long celebrated for its breathtaking beauty and the resilience of its people, now stands on the threshold of transformation. Once known for its natural wonders and vibrant culture, the country is now at the center of a global technological revolution, its future intertwined with the world's progress. These rare earth elements are the invisible force behind smartphones, electric cars, wind turbines, and countless devices that define the 21st century. They are the backbone of modern infrastructure, the silent enablers of innovation, and the key to a sustainable future. Experts believe the country may be sitting on one of the world's largest deposits, a resource that could change not just its economy, but its place in the world. This discovery could fund new schools, build modern hospitals, and lift millions from poverty, offering hope to communities that have long awaited opportunity. It offers the Philippines a new voice in global affairs, a seat at the table where the future is decided, and the chance to shape its own destiny. For the first time in generations, the nation can chart its own course, balancing prosperity, independence, and responsibility. But with great opportunity comes great responsibility. The choices made now will echo for decades, shaping the land, the people, and the world beyond. The world is watching, eager and anxious to see how the nation will handle this extraordinary gift, whether it will be a blessing or a burden. The path ahead is filled with both promise and peril, with opportunities for greatness and risks of exploitation. As the first drills break ground and scientists set up their equipment, a new chapter in the nation's story begins to unfold. The story of the Philippines' rare earth discovery is just beginning. A tale of science, ambition, and global power, with the world watching every step. What are rare earth elements, or REs? You might have heard the term before, but few people realize just how essential these elements are to our daily lives. They're the hidden building blocks that power the technology we rely on every single day. Despite the name, they're not actually rare, at least not in the sense you might think. These elements are scattered throughout the Earth's crust, but they're rarely found in large, concentrated deposits, which makes mining and extracting them a complex and expensive process. There are 17 of these metallic elements, each with unique chemical and physical properties. Their ability to conduct electricity, produce strong magnets, and emit vivid colors makes them absolutely vital for modern technology. Think of them as the vitamins of our devices. Tiny amounts make a huge difference. Without rare earths, the sleek smartphones in our pockets, the powerful electric cars on our roads and the towering wind turbines generating clean energy simply wouldn't exist. For example, europium and terbium are what give your phone screen its brilliant, lifelike colors. Neodymium is the secret behind the tiny but powerful magnets that drive speakers, headphones, and the motors in electric vehicles. Rare earths are everywhere, inside your headphones, in the spinning platters of hard drives, and on the assembly lines that build the world's most advanced electronics. They work silently behind the scenes making modern life possible. But their importance goes even further. They're absolutely crucial for the green energy revolution. Wind turbines, solar panels, and high-capacity batteries all depend on rare earths to function efficiently and reliably. Even national defense relies on these elements. Advanced jet engines, missile guidance systems, and other military technologies all require rare earths for their unmatched performance and reliability. As the world races to build cleaner, smarter, and more connected technology, the demand for rare earth materials is skyrocketing. Manufacturers everywhere are scrambling to secure enough supply to keep up with innovation. By 2030, experts predict that global need for rare earth elements could grow fivefold, putting even more pressure on the already strained supply chains that deliver these critical materials. Until now, one country has dominated this market, controlling the vast majority of mining, processing, and export of rare earths, China. This dominance has shaped global trade and technology for decades, but now, the Philippines' recent discovery of significant rare earth deposits signals the rise of a new player, one that could potentially rewrite the rules of global supply and shift the balance of power. The world is watching closely as the rare earth landscape begins to change, with new opportunities, new challenges, and a future that could look very different from today. 
The discovery began with a bold scientific theory, one that challenged decades of conventional wisdom about where to find the world's most valuable minerals. For years, geologists had focused on active volcanoes, believing their ongoing eruptions and dynamic geology would be the key to unlocking rare earth elements. But a new generation of scientists dared to look elsewhere. They proposed that extinct volcanoes, long silent and overlooked, might actually hold the richest concentrations of rare earth elements, hidden deep within their ancient undisturbed cores. Researchers discovered that iron-rich magma, once trapped inside these ancient volcanoes, acts as a natural filter over thousands of years. As the magma slowly cools, it draws in and concentrates rare earth elements, separating them from other minerals in a process that nature perfected over millennia. This cooling process allows rare earth elements to gather in pockets, forming deposits far more concentrated than those found in younger active volcanoes. The result is a natural treasure trove, locked away until now. In fact, this process is up to 100 times more efficient than what occurs in active volcanoes, making extinct volcanoes a previously untapped resource of immense potential. The Philippines, with its dramatic volcanic history and hundreds of extinct volcanoes scattered across its islands, became the perfect natural laboratory for this groundbreaking research. Its unique geology offered scientists a rare opportunity to test their theory on a grand scale. Using advanced mapping technologies, ground-penetrating radar and chemical sensing equipment, teams of scientists meticulously surveyed the volcanic fields. They searched for subtle chemical signatures, clues that pointed to the presence of massive, previously undiscovered deposits of rare earth elements. The data was conclusive. Their theory was proven right. Extinct volcanoes near the Philippine archipelago hold vast, untapped stores of rare earths, enough to change the nation's economic future and impact global supply chains. It was a moment of scientific triumph, a breakthrough that validated years of hard work, collaboration, and innovative thinking. Once seen only as forces of destruction, these ancient volcanoes are now recognized as creators of immense value, offering new hope and opportunity for the future. This scientific breakthrough not only brings new wealth and opportunity to the Philippines, but also offers a new global playbook for finding and securing critical resources in a rapidly changing world. Today, the nation stands at the forefront of a scientific revolution, led by its own homegrown experts and innovators. The world's eyes are now on the Philippines watching as it transforms a scientific theory into a new era of discovery and prosperity. For the Philippines this is more than a headline, it's a turning point. The rare earth deposits could be worth billions, even trillions of dollars. This wealth could transform the nation funding infrastructure, education and healthcare. Imagine new roads, modern airports and reliable energy grids powered by this discovery. The country could invest in its people, building skills for a high-tech future. Globally, the Philippines would shift from consumer to critical supplier, gaining leverage in trade and diplomacy. Nations worldwide will seek partnerships, eager to secure these vital resources. This newfound importance empowers the Philippines to pursue its interests with greater autonomy. The nation is poised to become a key player in the global economy. The opportunity to shape its own destiny has never been greater. The Philippines' discovery lands in the middle of a fierce global competition for rare earths. For years, China has controlled about 95% of the world's supply, wielding immense geopolitical power. Recent export restrictions by China have exposed the world's vulnerability and intensified the search for alternatives. The Philippines now offers a credible large-scale alternative. This could rebalance the market, reducing dependence on China, and creating new alliances. Countries like the US, Japan, and the EU will rush to invest and secure partnerships. The Philippines can now negotiate from a position of strength, but with power comes risk, the nation must navigate global rivalries carefully. The Philippines is no longer a bystander, it's a key player on the world stage. The Philippines' rise as a rare earth superpower will create friction with China. China's dominance is threatened, especially in the contested South China Sea. Chinese vessels have already been caught surveying Philippine waters, seeking to assert control over resources. The race for minerals extends to the deep sea, where China leads in exploration licenses. The Philippines' land-based discovery is a direct challenge to Beijing's ambitions. To protect its interests, the nation must strengthen alliances and prepare for increased pressure. The treasure beneath its volcanoes is now a focal point of regional security. The promise of wealth comes with serious risks. Mining and refining rare earths can devastate the environment. Deforestation, toxic waste, and water contamination are real threats. Chemical processes used in extraction can release hazardous byproducts including radioactive materials. Local communities, especially indigenous groups, face displacement and social upheaval. The government must ensure fair consultation, protect rights, and share profits equitably. History warns of environmental devastation and unrest from poorly managed mining. The Philippines has a chance to set a new standard for responsible extraction. 
strong regulations and transparent governance are essential. The nation must protect its natural heritage while pursuing prosperity. The Philippines stands at a crossroads between prosperity and peril. The nation must balance opportunity with responsibility, building a future that benefits all. Strong, transparent governance is key world-class environmental laws, equitable wealth sharing, and zero tolerance for corruption. Attracting responsible partners will require trust and accountability. Investing in education and technology can help the Philippines move up the value chain, processing and refining REs at home. The goal, a knowledge-based economy, not just raw exports. This is about more than minerals. It's about self-determination and national progress. If managed wisely, this resource can spark a brighter, more independent future. The world is watching to see if the Philippines can balance economic growth with environmental and social justice. The treasure is unveiled, now comes the hard work of shaping a worthy destiny. The next chapter begins now.